Hey guys, I'm Matt Adams and this is Bennett Fitch and we're back with another Noria unboxing video. So today, Bennett, what do we got? Thank you, Matt. So this is the Spectro 120 by Amatec Spectra Scientific. Okay. Now this is an elemental spectrometer. You know about the elemental data, right? Sure, yeah. We think about oil analysis, we think about the iron triangle, right? Sure. So we think the lubricant health or condition, the contaminants that may be getting in our lubricant as well as mm -hmm. maybe some wear debris generation yeah. going on. The three categories are very important. You yep. see that across every single oil analysis report. It's kind of like the backbone, right? So we want to watch the trends of possible wear debris increasing or contaminants on the rise, Rolling. along with maybe some other tests you might run to, to confirm the data. Mm -hmm. But you can also trend the downward trend of the additives, additives of the yeah. oil. So there's a lot of different opportunities here. 24 elements that this can analyze here. Okay. Th now this type of elemental spectrometer is a RDE, rotating disc electrode. Now what I want to show you here as I open this up, there's that disc, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm also going to put this rod. These two are going to be graphite electrodes and once I put them at a certain width here, I'm going to lift this up and down, there's going to be a spark created between those two, right? Okay. And that spark is going to burn oil. That oil that's burned is going to create light as it burns. And that light is going to be picked up here by these optics and analyzed by the CCD chips in the back. Sure. And this might sound really complicated, a lot of things going on here, but the process is real simple. In fact, it's been you know, used for over 40 years and even the US military has standardized on using this technology for their joint oil analysis program for many decades. Okay, so fantastic. Yeah, I've utilized some technology from these guys before okay. on site and that's what I like about this is the option to have it from a commercial laboratory yeah. as well as the possibility of using it for an on-site oil analysis lab. Yeah, yeah, definitely something anyone would see in their oil analysis reports where they send a sample off to a commercial laboratory, but this can be e easily used on site. It's not very difficult to set up and once you get going, not a problem at all. So, sure. Couple of quick questions, I guess, with this. You know, we've got a lot of different uh, components yep. with this to the side. Do all these oftentimes come with this product? And does this specific product, does it work well with other types of oil analysis uh, involved or technology yeah. tools? Sure, so everything you see here is just out of the box. They provide all the things you need, including the electrodes here um, and all the other you know containers you need to hold the oil as you put it in the sample tray. Okay. Um, including this even the sharpener here that you need to, to, to sharpen down the, the the rod here to a point. You know, simple process here. Um, it's all included. This even will connect to other oil analysis instruments provided by Spectro. Or so mini lab. Or, exactly. Okay, so you, yeah. you can create a whole setup here that they all kind of work together. Right providing you a big picture of the oil analysis. So it's a simple process. Everything, it has an ASTM standard to follow. So it's been standardized for quite some time. And you know, like, like I said, you know, is a, I, I was able to run samples pretty quickly. Um, and we had a field engineer come in. We recommend a field engineer, um, you know, kind of help you walk through the initial setup. It only takes a few hours though, at okay. most. Um, so in fact, you know, I was at a customer site just yesterday yep. and they were dealing with a bearing failure. Right. Okay. So we wanted to take the opportunity to take some oil from a sample and do some analysis. Now I have some other things I'm going to do with that, but one of the things I want to do is look at the elemental data. Sure, exactly right. Mm -hmm. we, we hate to see failure, but we mm -hmm. want to take advantage of it when it happens to be able to mm -hmm. reduce it in the future. We think about oil analysis, predictive, proactive, yeah. but sometimes we can deal with the post-mortem and do a little bit of RCA or root cause analysis yeah. to see how did this happen and how can we avoid it. So, exactly. Great. So let's, ru let, let's run a sample real quick. I yep. got an oil sample already prepared right here in this tray. All I do is I place this in here. I lift this up, close the door, make sure it's locked because watch this when I hit start. So now that's complete, everything gets sent automatically to the computer next to you. You can see all the elemental data. All 24 elements are shown. Um, this is what shows on the oil analysis reports. Everything is shown in parts per million, right? Right. 
Um, they even have the poster there to let you walk through the steps. But you know, once you do it a few times, you, sure. you kind of have it exactly. down. I'm long. a big fan of this, though. Mm -hmm. Anytime we can have this kind of information readily available, you may not use it for a couple of days or maybe a week or so, maybe forget the process. Yeah. Quick, simple, looks like eight-step process to yeah. kind of get up and rolling, right? Exactly. And so no, no special gases are necessary, no specialized facilities. And not just oil, I can also test maybe fuel, coolant, greases. It's very versatile. Nice, yeah. I love that about this product itself. What I really like, like you said earlier, it's been around for several decades, yeah. very robust, a lot of technology, but the end user uh, functionality is very simple. So it makes for a great product. I think so, yes. Yeah. So for more information regarding Spectral and their products, take a look at the link below.